Go take a little trip It's such a future with me Go take a little dip Go take a little dive Get that energy right We gon' get it together There's the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key what you need channel if it's your first time visiting my channel welcome to my channel my name is toyo and i'm gonna do a pick a card reading okay this is gonna be called what are you manifesting so what are you manifesting whether it's consciously or subconsciously what are you manifesting if it's something subconsciously and it's not too good you know i'm gonna tell you what to do to to stop that so that you can get what you really want okay if you got something good coming in we're gonna look at it and see what's 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 going on what's really happening um if you guys would like a private reading by me hit my email email at itoyo at icloud.com okay and thank you guys for getting private readings from me for the ones who have been getting private readings i really love connecting with y'all i feel um i don't know blessed okay i love y'all thank y'all so much let's get to the video bye All right, power one. So what are you manifesting? Okay, I definitely see you manifesting something here. You've been really, really working hard. It's not telling me what you manifested just yet, but you've been working really hard trying to manifest something. But you guys have a lot of blockages here and you're stagnant. The reason that you're stagnant is because a family member or a friend or someone that you look at as family here is um, spreading rumors about you and lying, okay? But um, nonetheless, these blockages are going to be lifted because your ancestors are definitely, or whoever you're connecting with spiritually, are definitely um, fighting for you or, you know, trying to help you remove these blockages. So if anybody's spreading rumors about you guys, don't worry, especially if it's a family member or they're gossiping here, don't worry. But it is making you stagnant here. So all you need to do is focus on yourself right now, self-love, self-care to remove these uh, blockages, okay? Help your ancestors or help spirit out to help you out is what I'm getting, okay? So we got the child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Yeah, you're very smart. You're very intelligent here. Um, I feel like you, like... Yeah, you've been, I feel like you've been manifesting consciously for a while here, and you know exactly what you want out of life, and you know exactly how to get it, and I feel like you may be a little confused on why it's not here yet. Like I said, it's family members um, or friends here that are keeping you stuck, but they're spreading rumors or spreading lies, okay? It says someone is talking shit, or, or they're just gossiping here, but you're very smart here. You're very intelligent. Um... Yeah, and you do have a big ego here. So some women were made. I like to think that I was created. So I feel like you got to be in like a, uh, I got a big ego type of energy soon here. Um, and this is what you need to be in as well to remove these blockages. Like not like, oh no, like, you know, not the bad ego. <laughs> Make sure you're like confident. Okay, some call it arrogant. I call it confident. So these people here may try to keep you down by saying that you're cocky or arrogant here but you're really confident and you're very intelligent and you know your shit so whatever it is that you're trying to manifest you know energy or you know what you're talking about and people are just jealous as hell so you got hope anticipation yeah you guys have really been waiting on whatever you're trying to manifest um you've been wishing some of you guys have been doing spell work to try to get this to come in uh you're wondering why it's not coming in and it's because like i said a family member or someone close to you is causing blockages um but you guys are very hopeful i feel like you're, you're you're staying hopeful but look at her face it's almost like sometimes she may give up on what it is it's almost like you think ah this ain't gonna come through and that's perfectly fine you could think that because no matter what you already manifested it it's coming in nobody can stop what you got going on they can only slow you down so what's going on is they're not even slowing you down no more it's already here is what i'm getting they just blocking it. So all it needs to do is be lifted and then you can get what you are trying to manifest here. Okay. Um, some of you guys are trying to manifest a husband. Some of you guys are trying to manifest some type of stability within your life. Some of you guys are trying to manifest um, like, yeah, some type of structure. So if you're male, I feel like you're trying to manifest some type of structure, stability, or like become some type of boss, um, entrepreneurship. Um, 
if you're female or have feminine energy, you are trying to manifest some type of husband here. But I, for the most part, I feel like y'all are trying to manifest the life that you want, like the husband, uh, the business, the the everything, okay? That ideal life that you have within your third eye. Yeah, some of you guys are literally manifesting a husband, okay? Some of you guys are wondering, why is this person not proposing to me so some of you guys yeah and it's because they have family members or you have family members on your end that are hating um causing blockages here if you're waiting on a proposal or waiting on someone to take it to the next level with you guys okay uh but for the most part i see you guys you guys are definitely going to be getting your blessings here okay so what you're manifesting is a proposal, okay? Most of you guys are manifesting a husband or a wife here. Um, you've been wondering why it's not coming through. It's, it's, it's coming through. You just got to remove these blockages. Yeah. Some of you guys, um, it's not a proposal. It would be, like I said, something creative here that you do, like you becoming your own boss, um, making something happen um, with the knowledge that you have from within. Uh, it's just almost like because you're very confident in what you do. I saw you guys are very confident in a person is what I'm getting. But you guys are manifesting this this love life. This all around everything is what I'm getting. So everybody here is manifesting love. Uh, like um, the family life they're wanting. Like the kids, the house, the home, the cars. Um, all that good stuff. And then the career. So if you're not having your own business, you're going to have the career that you want. This is all manifesting. I feel like... This blockage, like I said, it's all coming like at once is what I'm getting. It's just, yeah, these blockages. Yeah, you're very powerful here. Also, yeah, if you um are manifesting something when it comes to your business, your business is going to be very powerful here. You're like a boss. You're going to be like, um, I don't know, very influential type of boss or energy. Like, I don't know, you're a boss. You're on top of shit is what I'm getting. Very creative, definitely. Um, and somebody's going to make a proposal to you. So some of you guys are manifesting like a proposal here from a boss or someone saying, hey, uh, we need you to do this for us because we love what you do here. But yeah, you guys are definitely, some of you guys are manifesting, like I said, the children, a pregnancy here, uh, a beautiful home, very creative, a very creative partner as well. Yeah, and we got seek the truth i want to look at this real quick so clarify seek the truth what are they manifesting um the truth is probably that why you cannot manifest what's going on or what, why you cannot manifest what you're trying to manifest is because family or friends or people that you love unconditionally yeah you got this coming in like i said it's coming in regardless it's already here sorry about that it's already here you just have to end um starting relationship not really even relationships i would just say i wouldn't say even in the relationship i would just say you know pull your energy back detach although i don't think i don't have stuff for all for y'all um yeah it's almost like for some of y'all some family members are keeping y'all stuck by having y'all think certain shit for some of y'all the family members the one is nervous and scared because they're scared that you're actually going to um do this for some of y'all these people already found out that you're the shit and they're just scared that it's going to come in so they're doing all they can to make it not happen okay to keep these blockages um now most people don't know that they're keeping people blocked uh i just think their spirit be bad or they be depressed let's just say you started making um two hundred dollars a day i don't know and you're trying to get out of your mom's house and you're like uh but i'm you know blah 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 and as soon as you make that two hundred dollars a day she wants two hundred dollars in rent and you're like what the fuck but in her head she's like no you got two hundred dollars to give but in your head you're like let me level up to get the fuck out of here but what this person doesn't know is their spirit really doesn't want you to go even if they think they do like their soul really does not want you to go it's almost like that for the ones who are dealing with um well all of y'all are dealing with people being stagnant yeah for some of y'all y'all was dealing with a lover because all these cars flipped out um just jumped out of my hand but this one is the only one that flipped over, okay? Or this is people that you love, friends. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, okay? So um, if you, you know, 
need to know who exactly is blocking you from receiving this manifestation. I will get a private reading. It doesn't even have to be by me, by any reader here, but I don't want you guys cutting off people that you think is blocking you and it's coming, really coming from over here or whatever the case. But yeah, a family member or a close friend is really blocking you from this manifestation here. All right? Um, it could be on your end or their end. But yeah, I'm getting y'all a manifesting love. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye. How to? What are you manifesting? You not guys are definitely manifesting support okay people who are here to support you whether it's your soul tribe whether it's people who support your business whether it's someone here to support you in love somebody you guys are manifesting a supportive person or supportive people within your life um people who support your ideas your dreams people who love your energy people who are going to hype up your energy hype up your goals they they support your goals. They give you a helping hand here. Just a lot of supportive individuals who genuinely love you, okay? So we got mask off. Someone is appearing to be away when they're really the opposite. You've been getting intuitive nudges. So, yeah, for some of you guys, I'm getting that people have been supporting you or fake supporting. Um, fake love, okay? I got fake people showing fake love to me straight up to my face. I've been down so long, it look like a, you've been down so long, it look like up to you. They look up to you. And I feel like these people do look up to you. They support you, but really they don't really fucking like you or like what you got going on. Um, they, I feel like some of these poor people are supporting you because they either want to be in the same position as you, they want to take your spot, or they just don't want to look like they're not supportive. Um, but I feel like, like I said, you're being in intuitive nudges about these people here. And people who actually, like I said, belong on your soul tribe or people who you are meant to help or people who are meant to help you are definitely coming your way like it says star family your soul tribe you're a part of team you're a part of a team of souls call in support yeah so you've been asking for support from the universe and this is exactly what you're gonna get if you've been like man people never support my business but then as soon as this person go over here and do this they support me and what the i'm nicer than this person i do more for this for people than this person and why are people not supporting me i don't get it so it's because these people are not meant to support you fuck them okay your real tribe is coming through to support you also um if you guys are looking for support when it comes to love or your family your real family even if it's like your blood family doesn't support you these people who belong in your soul tribe they are your family they are your family before your family was your family like y'all come from i don't know like Y'all soulmates, but y'all come from the same soul tribe, of course. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Um, all right, so, yeah, I'm getting that you guys have definitely been having um, issues uh, with support. I feel like your energy is, uh, like, hyper or very energetic is what I'm getting. And I feel like these people are kind of jealous. It says I'm jealous. I'm overzealous. So these people are jealous that you're overzealous. They don't like your energy here. Um, you don't judge me because if you did, baby, I would judge you too. So these people that are coming in that are just like you, they're not going to judge you. They're just like you. They are like you're on the same energy, on the same shit energetically, okay? It's just people that you'll be like, are we twins? Even though one is white, one is black. Y'all like, we're twins. I don't give a damn, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, you're perfect. Poorly wired circuit. Yeah, you see things from the same point of view. So, yeah, a lot of people that are seeing things from the same point of view is coming towards you. You're manifesting support from people who are meant to support you. Um, I feel like some of you guys were trying to do something simply to get support, um, but that wasn't aligned with your sole purpose. So, yeah, some of you guys is what I'm getting. You guys are taking the mask off, and you're like, I'm going to just do it how I want to do it, and the people that are going to fuck with me are going to fuck with me, okay? All right, sorry about that. So, yeah, I'm getting that. Whatever you're supporting, all the support here, um, it's almost like you guys were putting a lot of hard work here, okay? But you guys are deciding to drop that. Um, maybe you guys were overworking yourselves and also not getting support here or you felt that way. But you guys are definitely going to be caring for yourself or this is what you're doing to care for yourself. Dropping the extra burden, dropping the extra hard work. Yeah, people have definitely been spitting evil eye at you guys. Um, probably making it stagnant or making it hard for you to bring in what you're trying to manifest. Um, but no... Uh, but like I said, 
And also, like I said, the people that have been fake supporting you are the people that are wearing this mask are spitting evil eye at you or have been. But real support is definitely coming in. The more you care for yourself and you be yourself or you put yourself more into your craft or whatever you're doing, the more that people who are actually like you are going to be drawn towards you. If you try to uh, emulate another person's energy or what they're doing or whatever the case, the people who like that person or their energy are going to be drawn towards you. And it's going to like not be a match is what I'm getting. If you are not being yourself, you're going to attract people who are drawn to that energy, but something isn't going to match. So they're going to be kind of jealous at the same time. I don't even know how to explain what I'm saying. So some of you guys are definitely manifesting something when it comes to love as well. Okay. You guys are manifesting a date with somebody from your past, uh, but you want to be careful and protect your energy. So it's almost like you really, really were missing someone. Some of you guys were sad as hell, missing someone, sad, crying over someone. And you were like, I just want this person to come back, but um, they're going to come back. Um, but you want to protect your energy because this person may be a burden on you. But nonetheless, I'm seeing that you guys are manifesting success, growth, a lot of support here. A lot of people who are like, I love you. I love your energy. I love what you do. I love your craft. I love your work. I love everything about you. And they genuinely love you instead of you having to be like, why they don't fuck with me? And why I'm going to do what they do since everybody fuck with them? It's like that. Okay. And um, then it won't be extra hard work on you. Also, I'm getting, like I said, you guys are manifesting someone from your past coming back. But for the most part, some of you guys are not going to want this person back. Some of you guys are going to want this person back. But you want to make sure that this person isn't coming back to energetically fuck you up from the support that you're about to receive. Okay? So, yeah. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. Kyle 3. So, what are you manifesting? Um, you guys are manifesting something when it comes to karma, okay? What goes around comes back around. But don't get scared. I do genuinely believe that this is good karma, okay? But while you're manifesting this good-ass karma, because I feel like it's coming in very strongly and it's something like a big manifestation, you want to make sure that you're on the same vibration as whatever you're trying to manifest, okay? Um, so I feel like some of you guys are manifesting something when it comes to love, and you guys have not healed all the way from your last love situation. So when your new lover comes in or your new lover has already come in, you will be kind of insecure or feeling like they're doing shit that they're not doing. Um, so you want to make sure you're on the same vibration as your manifestation. You want to make sure you're fully healed before this person comes in or this thing. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. I'm feeling like it's a person, but... um. For the most part, I'm getting at something that you're truly going to love. It says universe is game. So you guys are, your third eye is open or you know energies here. You're playing the game. Write down all the things you want to bring into fruition. So some of you guys literally wrote down that you want like a husband or a wife or someone to love here. Um, but like I said, make sure you're on the same vibration as what you've been manifesting. Yeah, you guys have consciously manifested something here. Um, cause it's coming around. Now I feel like you guys have definitely put out good ass energy. So good ass energy is coming to you. Like I said, but you can also, like I said, still lose your bomb ass manifestation. If you manifest something up here and you only right here, when it come in, you're going to lose your manifestation. So make sure you're here right up here with it. All right. So we got fall into my arms. Okay. Surrender, holding the opposites extremes of life so you guys are making having like extreme life changes here you're manifesting extreme life change a husband a wife someone here to love someone here to go on vacation with um just uh, i don't know i'm getting like lovey dovey vibes like yeah this is good ass karma here I feel like somebody hurt some of you guys and you guys never um i don't feel like you guys were the group of people who went out the way to Oh, you heard me well, I'm going to go be a hoe. Oh, you heard me well, I'm going to go hurt you or hurt, hurt all type of other people back. When this person hurt you, you didn't become a narcissist, basically. You just said, okay, fuck it. I'm going to try to heal or I'm going to write this shit down, but make sure you're doing your healing as well. But y'all, we got Janae Aoke or however you say it. <laughs> Lightning and the thunder. What in the hell? What kind of Bell, did you put under me control of me okay yeah i think y'all some of y'all really did write some shit down okay and this is what's uh magnetizing your person towards you um but this is like your soulmate um but lightning and thunder like you guys are attracting some type of love 
okay type of strong ass love energy here okay now if you guys do spell work i hope you guys didn't um like write somebody's name down unless it's like you know that's your person dude um so that you guys aren't getting like bad karma here so because you know you don't want to bend somebody's free will is what i'm getting but for the most part i'm getting that you guys definitely like wrote down like i want uh this or that I have a person or whatever the case. But you guys are definitely going to be enlightened here. You guys, somebody from your past might even come back. Or something here from your past is going to... Yeah, some of you guys are manifesting uh, somebody from your past, okay? Some of you guys did do exactly what I said. And y'all wrote down a specific person's name. Or y'all did like a, a love spell on somebody is what I'm getting. Somebody here in the past might have cheated on some of y'all. And you know, <laughs> this person is coming back for you, okay? But this person is coming back super in love. Yeah, we got delusion. Okay, some of y'all did like a spell on somebody is what I'm getting. Um... But for the most part, I'm getting others of you, you guys are um, manifesting a lover here. Somebody here cheated on you in the past, like I said, um, and you guys did not break. You guys didn't, you know, go out your way to... Yeah, some of y'all, y'all really did. Spell work is what I'm getting. Um, but for the most part, I'm getting a lot of y'all are manifesting, like, beauty here. You guys are looking very beautiful at this time. Yeah, some of you guys are manifesting some type of... You guys are moving on from something or someone. What if I'm moving on? Yeah, I'm getting two energies here. I'm getting some of y'all did spell work on somebody. And some of y'all are manifesting, like, uh, your partner. You didn't, like, write down a specific person. Or you didn't try to get a specific person. You just, um, like I said, put the intentions out there for your soulmate. Uh, nonetheless, you want to make sure you're on the same vibration. Whether you did the spell work on someone here or you just put the intentions out, okay? But you don't want to, um, like I said, lose your manifestation before, if you're not on the same vibration as it. Cut, cut fire, uh, cheater. Yeah, some of you guys are really in your head at a time, and somebody cheated on you or something, and it's like you did some type of spell work, and you were like, yeah, I'm going to get you back real quick. Uh, that's really what I'm getting. Yeah, oh, Lord. Shit, that's a lot of fucking energy there. Yeah, so some of you guys um, paid someone to do this is what I'm getting. Um, Cut out beauty. Yeah, some of you guys paid someone to do some type of spell work is what I'm getting. and Or you guys did do it yourself. But you want to make sure. Cliff, I'm moving on. You want to make sure, like I said, you're on the same vibration as what you are asking for. Uh, but for the ones who didn't do any type of spell work, like I said, um, you're manifesting someone here that is going to truly love you here. But what's going to happen is if you're not on the same vibration, like I said in the beginning, uh, if somebody here cheated on you in the past, not this person, but somebody else cheated on you in the past, it's going to cause you to think that this person is doing that same shit when they're not. Clarify beauty. Yeah, so you guys are needing to make sure you go within and heal that, okay? Yeah. Also, yeah, you guys are definitely getting a new beginning here with a, somebody here. Somebody's watching you guys or you guys are watching somebody. So, yeah, I'm just getting two energies. Some of you guys are the ones that did spell work. Like, you did it on a specific person for cheating on you. And this is what's coming back. That's your manifestation. But you want to make sure when this person comes back that you... You can keep up with what they got going on, okay? You That you are aligned with that or that you really, really want that, okay? Uh, or some of y'all, y'all only wanted, y'all just did it because y'all was uh, like mad as hell at that time. And you were just like in a fucked up mind state at that time. You just did it is what I'm getting. Others of you, um, somebody, like I said, you got that lover coming in, but don't self-sabotage because you didn't heal. That's what I'm getting for y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.